Give me an R E S P O N S and an I B I L D I Y. Give me an R E S P O N S and an I B I L I T Y. Give me an R E S P O N S and an I B I L I T Y. Give me an R E S P O N S. And an I B I L I T Y. Responsibility is doing what you are supposed to and doing it very well. Responsibility is doing what you are supposed to and doing it very well. Responsibility is doing what you are supposed to and doing it very well. Responsibility is doing what you are supposed to and doing it very well. I'm always gonna be responsible. God also wants me to be responsible. Welcome boys and girls to our online children's church. Boys and girls, I am very excited. Do you know why I'm excited? I'm excited because we are concluding our value that we have been going through and that's the value of responsibility. And in a few weeks to come, actually next week, we will be going through a brand new value. I hope you have learned so many things in this value of responsibility. And by the way, today we are going to our last lesson. Now, right now, we have our teachers over there. Teachers, teachers can you say hi to the boys and girls? Hi. Yes. Now, the teachers are going to tell us what they have really encountered. We have teacher Jabu tell us what he enjoyed so much in the shooting. Yeah, what stood out for me was uh, when I was telling the children what to do. I felt it so strongly also that those are the exact things I'm supposed to do. Like when I was telling you children, girls and boys about timekeeping. Oh, I felt so much that I'm also supposed to keep time. That time is important for me. And when um, we had to clean our environment, uh oh. I also felt I'm supposed to clean as much as possible, just like you, that I'm also supposed to clean. Yeah, so it has also spoken a lot to me. Wow! I, wow, that was so amazing, Teacher Jabba. I hope you also, boys and girls, learned a lot from what Teacher Jabba has been teaching you. Now, on the other camera, we have Teacher Martina. So, thank you, Teacher Laban. What I got to learn this time was about my country Uganda, how beautiful it is and how I need to take care of it and be responsible for it. Before we enter into our service today, I'm going to ask Teacher Jabu to lead us in a word of prayer. Teacher Jabu, hands together. All right. Uh, dear Father, we thank you so much for the week that you have helped us to be responsible and clean our environment. You have helped us to be good and responsible. Even this week also, as we learn today in our lesson, O oh Lord, that I can be responsible, help us to learn it. Help us, boys and girls, to know it and be very good at it because we are your children and we love doing what you tell us to do. In Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Amen. children um we're going to worship god let no one disturb you do not pinch your neighbor let's concentrate in the presence of god as we worship him and talk about his love your love is kind your love is patient You feel my heart with so much peace. 
let's sing together you're amazing you're amazing you make my life feel brand new all your promises all your promises are yes and amen Worship together, Jesus. Jesus, you love me too much, oh, too much, oh, too much, oh, excess love, oh. We sing together, Jesus, you love me. Jesus, you love me too much, oh, too much, oh, too much, oh, excess You love me so much. Jesus, you love me too much. Oh, too much. Oh, too much. Oh, excess love. Oh. With our eyes closed, we're thinking about this. Thank you for loving me too much. Too much. Oh, too much. Oh, excess love. Oh. Let's say thank you to Jesus. Thank you for loving me too much. Too much. Too much. Your excess love. Let's say thank you. Thank you for loving me too much. Too much. Too much. Your excess love. Lifted up, Jesus, you love me. Jesus, you love me too much, oh, too much, oh, too much, oh, excess love. Oh. One more time, we sing with all our hearts. Jesus, you love me too much, oh, too much, oh, too much, oh. Jesus for loving us. Welcome back from that amazing praise and worship. I hope you loved it and you worship God with all your heart and then you know who you are. So, as Teacher Laban has been saying that we are having this as our last lesson of the value responsibility. When you come back home from school there's always something to do but before you have some fun make sure your homework is done. Show your family and friends so you can start a trend to be responsible and that's how you should be. We need to go back and ask ourselves what is responsibility? Well, this time you're going to say it with me. Responsibility is doing what you are supposed to do and doing it very well. One more time. Responsibility is doing what you are supposed to do and doing it very well okay now this time i just want us to do something very simple okay we've been learning what responsibility is take care of your country um do what you're supposed to do very well but this time i want us to do something together okay now put your hand up everyone you have five fingers okay everyone has five fingers now this is going to be our responsibility hand responsibility hand so it's going to remind you about being responsible so the first thing our thumb is what i'm supposed to do okay what i'm supposed to do then here you're going to keep your promise that means you're going to say keep my promise everyone say keep my promise what i am supposed to do keep my promise then here do my best everyone said do my best yes and this one is 
avoid giving excuses everyone say avoid giving excuses nice and then this last small one is fix my mistakes everyone say fix my mistakes okay one more time we're going to go through it together this first one is what I am supposed to do uh, keep my promise do my best avoid giving excuses and the last one is fix my mistakes if you've done something wrong be responsible and fix it do the right thing if you have excuses every time you're like but uh, but no make sure you keep away from saying but then here do your best keep your promise and what know what you are supposed to do now that takes us to our lesson point today which is today is I can be responsible so I'm going to ask you what does the lesson point today say then you say I can be responsible one more time what does the lesson point today say I can be responsible I can be what responsible are we ready to start together Laban, Laban, special, special. Laban, Laban, and my friend watching us. <laughs> Welcome, boys and girls. Now, we have a very special game we are going to play. Now, in this game, we have a circle in the middle of our big circle that we are seated around. Now, I'm going to ask my friends a couple of questions if they get the question right they are supposed to jump from their seat right into the circle okay all right so are we ready are you ready okay my first question is who did god give the responsibility to build the ark who did god give the responsibility to? so i pick yes esther Noah! So Esther jump into the circle. Wow, she has entered into the circle. Now the second question I'm going to ask, who did God give the responsibility to baptize Jesus? Yes. John the Baptist, is that correct? Okay, now jump into the circle. Wow. Okay, my other question is, who should be responsible? Who should be responsible? Ah, yes. Yes, I should be responsible. Okay, jump into the circle. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh my God. Boys and girls, have you seen what she has just done? She has not played responsibly. So we are learning that we should be responsible even when we are playing with our friends. We should be responsible. Now, the way she pushed her, she could have gotten hurt. She could have gotten a wound. That is why we are learning that we should be responsible in everything. Even when we are playing, we should be responsible. Okay, boys and girls, as we continue with our lesson point that I can, I can be responsible, uh, let's look at this 
selfishness where people think that everyone must think of just themselves and only their needs. Uh, boys and girls, this is wrong. The world is not made up of just one person. The world does not have only you or just me. No. Listen, we fail to be responsible when we, when we are selfish. When we think of only ourselves and only our needs, uh -uh, we fail to be responsible. But now, listen, Philippians chapter 2, from verse 3 to verse 4, what does it say? This is what it says. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, in humility, value others above yourselves, above yourselves, not looking not looking to your own interests, but each of you looking at the interests of others. You see that? That let you be interested in others more than yourselves, okay? Friends, if every one of us does what we can do so well, if we sweep the home, then mommy can cook the food, you know? Your brother can go and wash the dishes, you know? If everyone does their part and we do it so well, then there, we are not being selfish. We are thinking of others so well, okay? So, everyone can be responsible and I can be responsible. Don't be selfish. Oh, oh, have you noticed a bad smell? Mm? Well, I don't smell anything. Really? Smell closely. You will eventually notice something that smells really bad. Uh, okay, I confess, it's me. I didn't take a bath. Tweet! We've been talking about this. You can't leave this to mommy or daddy or even the mate. Always make sure that you bathe. Oh, so what are you saying? What I am saying is that you can be responsible. You can't leave this to others to always make sure that you have bathed, brushed your teeth. No. Oh, really? I thought if mommy doesn't tell me to take a bath, to brush my teeth, then it's okay for me, even if I don't. Well, hmm. now I think it's not true. You can be responsible for your cleanliness, Make, making sure that you take a shower. Others will just tell you to go take your shower, but it's supposed to be you to go to the bathroom. Oh, thank you for showing me that. I will be responsible. Okay, so let's go prepare some water for you to shower. No, oh, you. Thank you. Okay, boys and girls, we're going to play a very interesting game. Oh, I have one boy. Yes. Okay, but even you guys are there. Boys and girls, we're going to play an interesting game and we're going to blow our balloon there and inside there is something that we need to discover. There is a word inside and the word is selfishness, okay? So this uh, game is going to help us teach, uh, learn something, sorry, it's going to help us learn something. So Emma, please blow the balloon. Okay, blowing is blowing. Okay, now do you think Emma there minded about what people would think? Our word here is selfishness. Thank you, Esther, and blessed. So our word is selfishness. But do you think Emma really minded about what you guys are going to think? Do you think he minded? Did it scare you? Did it scare you? Yes, it did. For me, it did scare me. So at some point, we really need 
to mind about what we do in our community. We need to be responsible for our actions and our words. That's why we are saying that you and I can be responsible. B -I -B -L -E. Yes, that's the for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B I B L E. I stand alone on the word of God, the B I B L E. B I B L E. Bible. Remember, boys and girls, you and I can be responsible. It's time for our Bible story, and it's coming from the book of Genesis, chapter six. Stories of the Bible, Noah. This is Noah. Noah is in the Hall of Fame because he listened to God. God created the whole universe. He created the sun and moon and stars, the sky above and the sea below. God created the animals and the people. Over time, the people on earth began to do bad things because they didn't listen to God. There was only one man in all the earth who was different because he listened to God. That man was Noah. So God told Noah to build an ark. He told Noah exactly how to build the ark and it was to be the biggest boat ever built. God told Noah to build an ark for his family and the animals to live on during the flood. When the ark was ready, God told Noah to load everyone into the large boat. They entered in pairs, each with another of its kind. After seven days, it started to rain. The underground waters erupted from the earth and the rain fell in mighty torrents from the sky. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights and then stopped. Many days later, Noah sent out a dove to find dry land, but the dove came back. After seven days, Noah sent out the dove again and it returned with a branch. After seven more days, Noah released the dove again. This time, it did not return. This made Noah think the dove found dry land where it could rest. Noah lifted the covering of the boat and saw that the surface of the ground was dry. Noah trusted in God's plan and God protected his family during the flood. Now, the flood had come and gone and Noah, his family and all of the animals walked on land again. Noah built an altar and sacrificed burnt offerings to the Lord. God was pleased with Noah's sacrifice and made a promise to Noah that he would never again destroy the earth and every living thing with a flood. God put a rainbow in the sky to remind Noah and all mankind of this promise. Wow, boys and girls, that was a very interesting story. I hope you enjoyed so much from that story. Now, from that story, we have seen this man called Noah. Now, Noah had to take responsibility to obey what God had instructed him to do. Now, imagine Noah had refused to build the ark. Would the ark be have saved? Imagine he did not go around and probably bow, blow that horn and the animals follow him into the ark, would we have animals on the earth? We wouldn't. So, as we have been learning that you and I can be responsible, just like Noah, you can choose to take responsibility. Take responsibility for that job that you have been given. If mommy has given you the responsibility to cook food, cook the food. Don't not do your response uh, your your part and just leave it out there because you can choose to be responsible you and i can choose to be responsible so boys and girls will you be responsible i hope you will so let us close our service with a word of prayer when i say hands together father in the name of jesus we pray that you will help us always to be responsible. In Jesus' name, Amen. Our lesson, Our lesson point today is, I can be responsible. So I'm going to ask you, what does the lesson point today say? Then you say, I can be responsible. One more time, what does the lesson point today say? I can be responsible. I can be what? Responsible. Are we ready to start together?
Sampai